Welcome to Facts 101, where you'll learn about interesting and random facts. Why don't snakes have legs? Scientists recently discovered why snakes don't sprout legs as they develop in their eggs. And it all comes down to genes. Genes contain instructions that tell cells how to build body parts. All snakes carry the gene to grow limbs, but it's switched off early in the baby snake's development, which is why baby snake bodies don't grow legs in their eggs. Pythons actually sprout nubs of hind legs through their scaly skin, proof they have the leg-growing gene. As for why snakes evolved to slither on scaly bellies, scientists have some theories. One is that snakes evolved from lizards that dug through the dirt to find food. Legs get in the way when you're trying to squeeze through tunnels, so snake legs became smaller over time until they finally vanished. Why don't jellyfish have brains? Not only are they brainless, they're boneless, heartless, faceless, and even headless. Oh, and they also eat and poop through the same hole. Jellyfish aren't fish at all. They're extremely simple creatures related to coral and anemones, and they don't need brains because they react automatically to the world around them. Instead of a brain, they have a simple network of nerves that detect light and prey. Most jellyfish bob about the ocean waiting for prey to bump into them. Some have tentacles bristling with stingers, called nematocysts, that are like tiny harpoons filled with venom. These harpoons launch by the thousands when a jellyfish's tentacle detects certain chemicals on the surface of its prey, typically fish or shrimp, although human skin will trigger them too. The harpoons lodge in the skin and inject toxins that damage flesh, shut down the nervous system, and can even stop the heart. The most dangerous jellyfish, the box jellyfish of northern Australia, carries enough venom to kill 60 humans. As with everything else jellyfish do, they launch these deadly stingers without a thought. If diamonds are the world's hardest natural substance, then how do people cut diamonds? With other diamonds, of course, typically in the form of diamond dust applied to the blades of powerful jewel-cutting saws. Why can't U.S. presidents serve as many terms as they can get elected to? Because America's first president set a good example. The original U.S. Constitution, the government's instruction manual, didn't establish a limit on how long someone could serve as a president. But George Washington, hero of the American Revolution and a model first president, could easily have won a third term after serving his first two, eight years total. He refused. Washington didn't want to reign for life like a king or queen of England, from which America had just fought for its independence. All presidents to come followed Washington's example until Franklin D. Roosevelt, who led the country through the Great Depression of the 1930s and World War II. After Roosevelt's death in his fourth term, the U.S. Congress ratified an amendment to the Constitution limiting a president to just two terms. Did you know you can't chew gum in Singapore without a doctor's permission? Origin of the law. Singapore, a famously neat nation, banned chewing gum in 1992 after vandals began cramming chewed up wads into subway doors and mailbox locks. In 2004, gum company Wrigley worked up the gumption to convince Singapore's government to allow the sale of special gum for medical purposes, but everything else is off limits. Why don't I keep all the bones I'm born with? Human babies are adorable little bags of bones, as many as 350 of them. But x-rays of adults show only 206 bones. Where did all those baby bones go? Nowhere. They simply fuse together to make fewer, bigger bones. A baby's skull, for instance, is made of three bones that later fuse into one tough helmet of calcium and other minerals that protect our brains. Some baby bones are made of a softer tissue called cartilage, which is more flexible and makes the birthing process easier for mom. 
these cartilaginous bones join and harden to form our adult skeleton. Why do I need to wear glasses to see a three-dimensional movie? Whether you're watching a cheesy 3D classic through the old-fashioned red and blue glasses, or a modern blockbuster through a sleek pair of high-tech shades, the 3D effect relies on the supercomputer between your ears. Both types of glasses filter out individual images for each eye, so that your brain can process the differences and perceive the illusion of depth. Why does my dog dig holes? When you try to stop Spot from shoveling away the soil in the backyard, you're waging a battle against instincts inherited from his wolf ancestors. Dogs dig holes for several reasons, including to cool off. Freshly dug dirt makes a great escape from the heat on summer days. To bury treasures. Just like wolves that bury food for survival, Dogs feel an instinctive urge to hide precious items, such as bones and chew toys, for later retrieval. To have fun. Some dog breeds, especially terriers and others bred to hunt burrowing rodents, just enjoy digging. To keep themselves occupied. Certain dogs suffer separation anxiety when they're left alone all day. Digging gives them something to do. Why does my cat hack up hairballs? Cats groom themselves throughout the day using their sandpapery tongues to comb food and dirt from their fur. Unfortunately, they gobble down gobs of loose hair with all that gunk. Feline bellies aren't equipped to digest strands of fur, so cur splat. The hair comes out the same way it went in, and you discover soggy fuzzballs all over the house. Hey, a few hairballs are better than a filthy feline. Why are American footballs oblong instead of round? The technical name for a football shape is a prorate spheroid. And while you'd think this shape, so perfect for long-distance passing and bouncing willy-nilly during mad scrambles, was the result of careful design by football's inventors, it really just happened by accident. In the earliest days of football, as the sport was still evolving, the pigskin was just an ordinary round ball. During the first college match between Princeton and Rutgers in 1869, the ball leaked and sagged into a lopsided shape. As the sport evolved into more of a passing game, its lopsided ball evolved with it, becoming the prorate spheroid we know today. Did you know just one whiff of chocolate can make people feel happy? A chemical in cacao releases feel-good vibes in the brain. Why isn't Donkey Kong a donkey? Most gamers know Donkey Kong as the top gorilla in a sprawling family tree of vine-swinging, go-kart racing, party game-playing apes, from fun-loving nephew Diddy Kong to sneaky distant cousin Ninja Kong. But long before these other Kongs came along, Donkey Kong was just the girlfriend-swiping rival of mustachioed plumber Mario, hero of 1981's Donkey Kong arcade game. It was the first big hit for Nintendo game designer Shigeru Miyamoto, who went on to design the legendary Legend of Zelda series. Miyamoto always intended for the game to feature an ape villain, a riff on the classic Hollywood monster fable King Kong. When it came time to name his game's stubborn gorilla, Miyamoto, who is Japanese and spoke little English at the time, flipped through a Japanese-to-English translation book. He found the word donkey implied stubbornness, and the word Kong called to mind an ape. He put the words together, and a gaming superstar got its unusual name. Did you know? A dozen is 12. A baker's dozen is 13. Thank you for watching Facts 101. We hope you learned some interesting new facts. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.